after waiting two weeks for it to arrive, it finally is here. My new wireless tie clip microphone system that I'm planning to use for my YouTube presentations. It's not that the dealer didn't post it. It was getting in and out of vans for the last two weeks. And it was actually not that it was overseas a purchase or even interstate. It was from the same city. It's actually about hour drive there and hour back. Yeah, sometimes the delivery system and the career system in Australia really, really suck. It's absolutely hopeless. I can order something from Wuhan in China and get it much quicker than what I order something from Sydney in Australia. Anyway, now that it's here, let me tell you all about it. So this is the new Camola compact wireless microphone system with true diversity reception system for interview and live stream. So this was a long time coming to my uh, YouTube videos. So let's find out what it is and how it actually works in a quick review of them as well. You will also be able to tell the comparison from my current audio, which is coming from my stereo uh, onboard microphone of my Zoom Q4 camera. And when I plug this in, we'll be able to tell the difference in quality, noise, sound, characteristics, and all of that a bit later on in the video. So what do we get in the box? We get a material pouch. It's really great, so we can put it in. We get some instructions as well. Oh, what's this? And we also get a neck strap, so that in case you cannot clip it on your suit or your clothing, you can actually hang it from your neck. And it's got an adjustable thing as well on there. And we also get the two units, the transmitter and the receiver. Let's have a look. Let's quickly have a look at the transmitter. It's got the um, uh, onboard microphone as well as line level and mic level input, uh, which is uh, the tie clip microphone you can plug it into. And on the other side, we have a power uh, switch as well as a USB-C charging. And on the other side, we've got uh, levels, which adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. And we've got the antenna that it can also extend, but in my cases, I don't need to because I'm not, I don't tra plan to travel too far from the camera with it. And of course, it's the clip on the end to clip it on. And it also has a display that uh, should tell me the battery uh, level, the range, the frequency of the um, channel that's been selected, as well as the input audio signal level on there. It is very light and compact. Okay, let's look at the receiver end. Again, it's about the same size. Uh, it does have a headphone output as well as a line level output. On the other side, we have the, again, the power switch as well as the USB-C uh, charger. And they're actually supposed to last anywhere between three to four hours or thereabouts. So it's been a long time for my use anyway. And again, on the other side, we have the uh, volume level, which adjusts the output level of the um, receiver. So that means you can adjust not only the microphone sensitivity, you can also adjust the level that's going out. Let's say if it's connecting it to your camera, uh, then you can adjust the level so you're not clipping. And if you are connecting to other gear, then again, you can adjust it to suit, which is not that common in this type of uh, wireless uh, systems. It's, it's a good point. That's a really good point. And it's got a display as well. It's supposed to show me the uh, battery level as well as the selected frequency uh, for the receiving and, uh, end. And also the signal level that's coming from the transmitter as well as the battery level of the transmitter. So on the receiving end, it tells you how much battery you've got on the transmitter. Again, it's got the clip as well, and it's got two antennas that I believe, here we go, that pull out to give you a longer range. So yeah, again, very lightweight and um, easily clipped on camera or on a stand. 
Let's have a look all the accessory cables that come with it. We have two USB to USB-C cables to charge each of the units so you can charge both at the same time. Then we have a TRS to TRS connection and this is probably what I'm going to use for uh, our testing at the back of the camera when I connect it. It also comes with another lead which is TRS to TRRS. So if you have a smartphone you can connect the smartphone uh, and you can use the wireless mic for smartphone audio as well which is really great and this is our lapel microphone that we're gonna test later on as well the clip is metal which is a good sign because I've seen so many plastic ones that actually break and it does come off the mic I won't take it off and it's got the foam on it as well and that's what the microphone looks like and the wind foam will go on there so we will plug this one in and we'll test them all out and see if uh, the quality of the audio is any different is it better is it worse is it bright is it dull noisy we will all find out when i actually plug it in okay i've got the receiver connected using the trs cable to the back of my camera and what you're hearing is using the receiver with the onboard microphone and uh, the levels are as default i just turned it on and it was already correct channel i have not changed any of the settings and that's what you are hearing the volume level or the sensitivity here is uh, set at five and i can actually see a level in here there's a level indication I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but uh, <laughs> it's quite tiny but that's uh, that's all good so it's a good indication that even um, without seeing anything else you can tell whether it's picking up any uh, noise or if it's too loud that's a good sign i um i really like that one it also shows me the uh, battery level and the volume level as well as well as the channel now on the receiver end where you cannot see and i can the same signal level of the audio is also indicated there as well as the signal of the transmission uh, that's coming there i can actually see it obviously it's giving a good signal so comment below if you think the audio coming from this one is any different or better or worse than the direct camera uh, microphone that you heard earlier you think it's an improvement let me know so now i have the lapel microphone that came with it it's connected and I have not changed any of the level. The volume level is still at five. And let me just clip it on. I guess that's where you would normally put it on. And now I can clip this uh, on my belt or out of the way. And um, let me know if this sounds any different because I will find out myself when I'm editing this video. Of course, during uh, editing of the video, I will not do any audio processing. Uh, the previous audio directly from the camera, the, uh, the onboard microphone, as well as this one, I will have no audio processing. So I will leave all the levels the same, no increasing of the level, no noise suppression or anything. That way it will give you guys a clear indication whether uh, the $85 or so I spent on this unit. Did I mention that? It was only $85 Australian delivered? Maybe not. Anyway, so that's how cheap this unit was comparing to Rode, which costs about $200 and or any of the other ones which go $250 Australian dollars or more. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with the result of what I can see so far. And um, let me know if there was a good decision to make. Of course, the advantage of having the tight clip microphone is that when I'm doing audio gear demonstration for my YouTube videos, Previously, I had to have a boom mic or use the onboard mic and it will actually have a variation of volume as I turn around, as I move around all the way here and all the way there. Of course, with the lapel microphone, that's not going to be the uh, issue because it travels with me. I'm assuming to the um, any reviews that I've seen on similar units, that the lapel microphone it usually is duller than if you use like a, a directional microphone like i normally use a pencil condenser microphones 
as uh, overhead and um, or the onboard microphone but a little bit of EQ in post editing during my videos that should actually make it even better um, in, in quality wise so we'll find out you guys let me know as well in the comments if this was a, a, a good price 85 Australian dollars I guess that's about 50 60 US dollars a good investment or not now a lot of people comment on my videos saying that the quality of the audio really sucks that I'm a recording studio I should have a better audio quality of my videos I guess a lot of people don't understand the fact that uh, the process of recording musicians in my studio is completely different doing educational and instructional videos for the YouTube channel you know when I record musicians here I actually make money um, even though it is not a full-time job but I get paid for it but for on YouTube I hardly get paid the revenue from the ads on YouTube don't really make much or cover the time and the cost that I have to produce those videos and now to the fact that we are March 2021 the new US laws US tax laws uh, means that YouTube will take another 30 percent of the already small revenue that I get from the ads and give it to the US government because I don't live in US I'm outside the US yes sure I could reduce that to a certain degree when I give my tax file number and all my personal details to Google my tax file number I don't think so <laughs> so anyway regarding regardless of that fact um, I'm quite happy to do these videos because I love doing them I love sharing the information and uh, ideas that I try to give to you guys so that you can take it to the next level learn about uh, you know a bit more technical details of things and how things work and why they work and then you can take it to the next level so that's what my YouTube channel is for anyway so now that I've got this lapel microphone with the wireless uh, tie clip I can move around hopefully people complain less I, you know I'm, I'm you know spending money out of my pocket to get a little bit better audio I guess uh, to you guys but um, yeah let me know what you think was this an improvement a well investment spending uh, the money for better audio quality and I'll catch you next time as always thanks for watching and have a great time making music cheerio guys